Okay, so next step we're gonna draw the fenders here. So in curve there's an arc tool. This arc tool works pretty really well. Okay, so sometimes you just need to activate the right plane. So click there and click the plane. And then go to arc. So drag these handles to the right place. So put it in the approximate position. Try your best to keep it as accurate as possible. Okay, there you go, that's enough. We'll accept that. And we're gonna go offset. So some of the things that we can do, we can edit lines, we can drop the curve on a plane, we can make an intersect curve from two surfaces, we can copy a line and make copies of the line there. So now we're gonna create an offset. I want to make this offset of this line. So yeah, we'll make it minus thirty-five. Okay. So you have two lines there, and we'll make it a surface. You click the surface. Select the two lines, hold control and select and it will create a surface for our fenders there. Okay, so the next step we'll make a fenders. We'll complete, complete the side surface here. So we need to draw the curves. Okay, so just take your time, experiment, experiment with the lines, draw it how you like. And I'll draw that curve there. And I'll make the line short here. It's a bit complicated to draw all the other parts, so we'll cut the surface here. So I'm gonna quickly adjust these points. So you can delete the points. can delete the points and add points for lines and surfaces. And we'll make it around there. Okay, so we have two lines. 
we can create the surface now but it won't be how we like it so we hold control and click okay so this line is actually on this side we're gonna move it across so when we draw it it was against that side so I'll bring that over quickly So we'll try making that surface again, click there and click there. So that's how the surface looks. Um, we really got to fix the front bit here. We need to draw a third line to define the front of the surface. So I'll just delete that and we'll go ahead and make the front front line here So because the curve is an offset, it automatically adjusts the surface for us. We don't have to edit both lines. So it looks good. And just put the points right on top. Okay, so it needs to be more round. We're going to add a more points. and bring the lines to the right place so I know from my car toy model there is actually a corner here we're gonna add more points so it should be straight there and a point So if you keep the points close, it will make the surface, make the corners sharp. So it should be something like that. So you can experiment with curves yourself, but I'll just do this quickly. And take your points again, make sure the points are on top of each of the lines. Okay, that looks fine. And we'll go make the surface. So 
So this second box here, this selects the profile. And it doesn't seem to work, it doesn't let us tick. So we're gonna go through and check the lines again. So hold control click to select many points or deselect lines. So now it works. So the main thing is keep your the ends of your points connect to each other. That's how it turns out. You can modify the lines yourself, make it look better. But that's the fenders of our cars car ready. Yeah, it's slightly more pointed there. It's a good idea to find reference picture and use it as as a guide for your modeling, and just adjust your lines, make it make it better. So it should be flat there and a sharp point there. You can go through and fix it up yourself. Maybe add a profile there. But we are going to move on to the next step. Okay, um, I just made a fix to the side. I'll show you how to make the side a bit better. So you can draw more profiles on your rails. So draw a profile here and here. That will help to define the shape more. So we we'll try that again, select the rails and now select the profile. Hold control to select both and now the surface is changed. So put if you put a line here it will it will stop the the hard edge coming across. And also when you draw this line make sure you gotta really put the line right on the point right, right on the line for it to work so uh, yeah you will find that it's a problem for many 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 times so just do that and it will work so now it looks sure looks look a lot uh, look a bit better and we can move on to the next part so I'll stop the video there and I'll make another video for the, for the next part. Um, it's 13 minutes already, so uh, I want to break it up into small video pieces, so it will be easier to view. So follow the links for the next video.